Hi, everybody. Uh, here we here we are, and uh, with WT3, I want to just say a few words about that. It's about something called partitions. And um, a partition, basically, I'll just look at the, let's look at the definition down here. You have a set A, which has a bunch of, um, you know, of elements in it. So I can, I can make a whole bunch of subsets of A, A1, A2, A3, whatever many subsets. And I want, if I pick a bunch of subsets of A in such a way that between each subset, every element is covered. So if I take the union of A1, A2, A3, da, 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 that's going to wind up equaling the entire set A. And, and on the flip side, any, any two of these, like A1 and A3 or A5 and A7, or whatever are 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 disjoint, meaning they're they're they have no intersection. So basically, that means I'm taking. So let's just look at an example here. Actually, let's look at an example right here. Um, so, for example, let's say you have a set A, B, C, D. So I could make a partition like this: A, B, and C, D. A is a subset of of the big of the big set. B is a subset of the big set. C, D is a subset of the big set. Between these three subsets, I cover the entire original set, a, which contains A, B, C, D, and yet none of these two, none of these um, uh, sets have any intersection. Uh, the, the technical term for that is pairwise disjoint. Uh, I mean, if I take a C, D, and B, they don't share any elements. If I take A and B, they don't share any elements. Now, another way, but that, but that's only one way to partition this set. I could also put write it this way, I can make two subsets. I could do A, A comma B, make that one set, and B comma C comma D, make that a, another set. And, or I could make four subsets, just one with A, one with B, one with C, one with D. And again, in all these cases, uh, if, I, if I look at all the different subsets, they, they combine to, 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 to hit the entire original set, yet each individual subset is disjoint. Now, the question we're looking at and this is what we want to do for our WT3 project, is to figure out how many of these subsets there are. Well, if there are four, it turns out that there are 15 partitions, 15, 15 different ways you can partition this. Um, and where do we get that from? So here um, on I, in, in uh, Canvas, I gave some examples. So I'm saying if n equals two, meaning my original set has two elements, then the number of ways I can partition a set with two elements, P of two means the number of ways I can partition a set with two elements, there are two different ways. Meaning I could take the whole original set AB, or I could make A and B, and that's it. There's no other way, there's no other way to do it. So there are two ways. Now, if I have a, a set with three elements, so P of three equals five, meaning there are five diff different ways I could do it. I could do the entire set ABC, I could do AB, and then C, I can do AC followed by B, I can do BC followed by A, or I can do A and B and C as three separate sets. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now, if we go to four subsets, we, we mentioned, I mentioned just a few minutes ago that that's 15. And uh, oh, it, the one, two, three, I'm just, num I was just numbering them. Why I numbered them on this side, not the other side, I have no idea. But um, I can do the entire set with A, B, C, D. I could do A, B, C, and then D, A, C, D, and then B, A, B, D, and, but I, 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 got, I got tired and lazy of making all the commas, uh, B, C, D, and A. The point is that if you look at every example here, it, uh, you know, like between these, you know, uh, C, D, and then A, and then B, that covers all the four elements of the original set, or this guy over here, A, D, and B, C. Uh, you know, all of these examples, well, now notice that the strategy I use is first I took all four elements. This is a solid with four el units, four, four elements. Then I did sets of blocks. Of, I did three at a time and, and then did, did the extra ones. And I did two at a time, you know, it was my largest one and so on and so forth. And then because it's just one at a time and there's a total of 15. Uh, these are just examples. So what your mission, should you decide to accept it, um, is to write a computer program or code to calculate the number of partitions P of N of a finite set of N elements from N equals one to N equals 50. Or uh, if you don't know how to do computers and computer codes and stuff like that, 
You could do it by hand without a computer, and you just describe how you would do it by hand. Uh, and maybe maybe do uh, maybe try to do uh, uh, what is this uh, P of, try to do P of five uh, if you're doing it just by hand, and then and describe how you would do how would you how would you how you would strategize to make this uh, to such to make such a you know program if you were a computer. So that's really what I want you to do. If you could if you write computer code, all you got to do is give me the code, similar to previous you know uh, uh, problems. If you don't know how to write computer code, um, do it by hand, explain how you would do it by hand. Um, if possible, I, I, I'd be interested to know what P of five is, meaning if I had five elements, let's just, let's just, uh, just for fun, let's just start looking at it. Let's look at, let's, let's see what P of five would look like. So you have, um, so P of five. So, so obviously we have, um, uh, do, 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 do. A B C D E, uh, and I'm I'm just I should write commas, but I'm you know getting get lazy. Uh, and then we have whoops. I'm just going to do the easy ones, not going to go. Um, so we have A B C D. Oh, I should have done this. A, B, C, D, uh, E. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. Uh, make a D uh, with C. Um, Let's say B and A, just help with a little guidance here. Uh, so here I'm going to have A, uh, B, C, E, and here I'm going to have A, B, uh, D, E, and here I'm going to have um, A, C, D, E, and here I'm going to have B, C, D, E, and I hope I did that all right. It looks good. So you see I have one that have two, three, four, five, six, I already have six. And then you would want to make blocks of three. And now if you do a block of three, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the whole thing right now, but just to give you an example. If you do, if you start with blocks of three, well, when you do ABC, the next, after that, you could have uh, DE, but you could also have um, ABC, D, E, you see what I'm saying? So, so if you start with the, with the initial block of A, B, C, there's more than one way that that, that, that could end. So just, again, just be aware of that. Now, how you want to organize it, that's you have to figure out the most efficient way to organize it. Um, but just be aware that when you have different, you know, uh, you know when, it, when it came to a block of, of, of everything, all five, there's just one way to do it. When it comes to blocks of four, then there's only one thing left. You know, uh, when it comes to blocks of three, you have all different ways of making the, these three, and you have and and for each of the again, it, this is um this is an area they call combinatorics. So I want you to figure out how you would figure this out and describe how you would uh, make a program for it and so on and so forth. That is what that is what the prop the that is what uh, WT three is all about. That's what this assignment is all about. Um, uh, by the way, I just want to mention this. Well, that's probably re re really, um, eh. yeah. So here we have. Here I have the. Uh, I put here in the in in our scroll. I just put here the definition of what a partition is and how it works. And then you're going to figure out smart ways how to do this. Okay, everybody. That's all I want to uh, tell you for now. Um, I'm going to uh, put an end to the fun, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.